This strategy is about property recordings and marketing. So there's so many different types of property marketing and recordings that you can do for real estate in the rental department. We know sales, they do top line marketing for their, when they're trying to sell a property, but Michael and I, we, we're in the belief of whatever sales are doing, property management can be doing as well. More, they can be doing more. They can be, I mean, Michael, you were the first agency in Australia that actually did 3D tours for rental properties, or even across the board, really, you did sell, uh, you were the for first. For everything. Yep. As our rental properties were treated the exact same, if not better, as a, as a sales property, because we wanted to make sure that the properties would rent. I mean, with a sale, it's transactional based. Once you sell it, it's gone there and move on. You haven't lost it, it's still there. You're still working with it. So you need to rent it out to the best tenant in the fastest possible time for the highest possible rent that you can get. And those three areas that Michael's talking about give you three proof statements that you can then use for your business, for, for chasing the business. So uh, look, your marketing, however you're marketing a property, people are, are looking in on you. We are a fishbowl society um, today. People are looking at you, they're watching you, they're going to all the portals, they're looking at how properties have been marketing. So if you are um, advertising your vacant properties for rent better than all of your rivals, you are straight away perceived as that market expert in your area. Correct, yeah, and it's a massive point of difference. I mean, we see, uh, week in, week out, what agencies are doing. We noticed with um, with COVID how people quickly adapted to 360 and other um, fun, times of t fun types of marketing. Mm. However, we have also seen these same people retreat back to not using it anymore, yep. doing it the more manual way, which we don't quite understand. So there is a large gap there for you to have clearer points of difference. I still don't think it's okay for people just to say, hey, we offer 360 marketing, we offer floor plans, we offer superior marketing. You need to show them. So part of this strategy is really for you to start outlining and defining what your marketing strategy is. Mm. Don't give us a sheet of paper or on your website link saying we do um, premiere all for our um, for our listings or you know, just spelling it out there. We want to see it. We want to see examples of your 360 marketing. We want to, we want to see examples of your property walkthrough marketing. We want to see examples of your floor plan yep. marketing. Yep, 3D floor plans, however the case, those interactive ones, there's so many different types of marketing. Uh, look, Michael, you've got videography, you can use the photo slides. What do you call that when you use the um, like carousel? Carousel, you can have a voiceover, music to it. Um, you've got your um, walkthrough video tours that you can do. You've got the 360 walkthrough. So if someone's walking through, they can tap on the screen or on the phone to decide where they want to look as you're doing the walkthrough. You've got your social media lives. You've got your YouTube live. You've got your Instagram. You've got your Facebook. If you're using StreamYard, you could actually yep. do a live to all of those avenues at the same time. There's, there's so many different types of video marketing. You can even hire a professional to do your um, your 360 tours, etc. as well. Yeah, um, th for me, the key thing is with all, all the marketing you're doing, there's gotta be a connection to it. It can't just be a scattergun approach of offering this, offering that, and you know, saying we're great. Have a reason for it. So like our reason was that we wanted to make it really simple for someone to do business with us. What we mean by that is, if you're a tenant, we wanted to make sure it was really easy for you to be able to search for us, search for the property, walk through the property, see the floor plan, see the video, make a decision, apply for the property, and that whole process was covered. Yeah. Right? So we were theme-based to make sure that everybody was able to see everything about the property. So you're making the customer experience better for the potential tenant, in essence, making it a lot easier and um, more money in your owner's pockets because tenants are... Less phone calls, can I have a look at the floor pan, can I have a look at this? They've got the feel, they've got the vibe, they can see it all, and they're applying for the property quicker, moving into the property quicker. Yeah, because if you're if you're waiting, if you're doing open for inspections, you put the property up online and then you go to the open for inspection or you put it on a platform like IRE or another booking system, and then you go to the property and wait for people, you're reactionary. Mm. Right? You still there's still too many other um, pieces in, in that that are gonna make the person want to decide if they want to rent the property. So do the video, automate the process, and you know use this as examples with your marketing when you're going for new business. And you show Mr. and Mrs. Landlord 
here's all the people that, that apply for our property, that you know, inquire about our properties. And then this is what we do. We aggressively send them out the, the 360 tour, the floor plan, uh, the application, videos on how to apply. Videos on what to look for when you're viewing a rental property. Questions to ask a property manager when you're applying for a property, mm. right? So make it easy for people to do business with you and show that. Again, the purpose is best possible tenant, highest, uh, highest possible rent in the fastest possible time. Yeah, showcase how you market properties through your pre-listing emails. Showcase that on your social medias as well. And I'm not just talking about house for rent, have a look at it. Show your clients the results with proof statements through your social channels and how you do the um, the video tours, etc. Let's add another one. You've got the drone aspect as well, Michael. Yeah, I love the drone. Yeah, the drone. I mean, you had the strategy you used to do a, a drone um, at the client's house you're about to go into. Yeah, another reason like us using the drone was to show people that were interstate, overseas, time poor, you know, couldn't couldn't get out to the inspection, the location of the property, what is it near? Is it near parkland? Is it near CBD? Is it near freeway? Um, and, and and again, when you show um, your new business, your prospects, your owners, um, all these things you're doing, and then you throw the drone in there, it's just an, another um, plus one. Yeah, you're you're getting rid of all these objections. Yeah, you know, what, you know, what are the neighbours like? I mean, you're not showing the next door neighbours. There, but um, you know what's the what's the area like? Um, and if you want to be really really techy, you can zoom the drone around the area and go a few kilometers around. Yeah, look, what's really good about this? All of this marketing is showcasing why you are the perceived agent of choice. If you're not already offering this to the owners, you're making the decision on their behalf. So this strategy is about showcasing you as the market leader, so you can dominate in the area, and then adding all of these tools into your other strategy, which is your pre-listing emails. Go back to that one, have a look at those strategies and make sure you're tied in with this strategy as well. Take care. Bye.